Britannia, Britannia rules the waves. Britons never, never, never shall be slaves. I did my duty. There you are, you are the When I was only nine years old, my family and I took a vacation to the bedrock of American democracy, Washington, D.C. We saw the monuments, museums, the Declaration of Independence. We even caught a glimpse of a movie being filmed called The Sentinel, to which IMDb has awarded a resounding, that's eh, alright, out of 10. Fast forward a few years and everyone learned what a vault was, what a stimpak does, and how to heal wounds by rimming a public toilet. Fallout was now officially a household name, but why does this anecdote of mine matter? You see, I'm a warm-blooded, red, white, and blue American. And I gather the 50% of my audience that is both American and born between these years played Fallout 3 and did exactly what the young boy with memories of a family vacation also did. Wow, the Washington Monument? This is like the time I saw my first crack pipe. Hey, that's Obama's house. I'm just a bill. Yes, I'm only a bill. God bless the USA and nowhere else. Grandpa? Fallout 3 was very, very American. And while I'm not shocked it was successful internationally, I doubt some of the wow factor of its world design hit as hard for international audiences. To a much lesser extent with Vegas and 4, but that wow factor of exploring a world where the real world culture, references, iconography, and landmarks are adapted and then weaved into the fabric of a fictional world is precisely what makes Fallout London special. So there you go. That's my Fallout London review. It's great, and you should probably go play it. Now, is it perfect? Absolutely not. Hold on, the trees are stimming. Settle down, settle down. Okay, relax. Too much stimuli. The trees are scanning. Poor British. Analyzing. But when it comes to the most important and the most difficult aspect of putting together one of these large mod projects, it feels like a Fallout game, not a mod. Oh lord, oh god, okay, back, 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 run, 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 run. And the little details that I talked about in the prologue of this video are a huge reason why. I mean, come on, look at this food. It's got nutrition facts on it. They didn't have to do that, but that shit matters. They got a custom radio station with custom made songs just for this experience. The lockpicks. What is kale? Is it British? I, I don't know. Someone help me. The most consistent praise I've seen all over the place since this project's launch is how effectively it transforms the city of London and countless cultural references into a Fallout experience. A lot of the reaction that I've seen in regards to Fallout London seems to mirror that excitement that I had back in 2008, walking around and just exploring a place that I knew. And so in this weird, almost backwards version of what I experienced back then as a youngster, I don't really understand or recognize anything here. Hey, check it out, it's the, uh, it's that one flag, Denmark. Semi-skimmed milk. Skimmed milk. Is that just 2% milk? You can't call it. No, I don't like this. Stick it out with these guys or head over to Thames Haven. Am I pronouncing it wrong? Thames Haven? Okay, fine. Okay, it's Thames Haven. Is that a problem? The or are you just enjoying the silence? The problem is you and you're hard to pronounce terms. What are you? Ah. Okay, no, we don't need, <laughs> we do not need ladybugs. I'm surprised it's just called Ladybug. Like there are some where I expect it to have that little, you know, British twist on the naming convention of it. Like Ladybug could be queen of insect. What's the difference between pounds and quid? Is quid like a nickname? Like how we call US currency cash. Like dude, look at all this cash. Look at all this quid. Oh, quid is slang. Hmm. Before you know it, I'm gonna I'm gonna be sipping tea with a monocle. I'm gonna be so fancy on the next stream. Uh, I think we're about to roll up into the Tesco. So this is my first Tesco experience in real life, technically. So all of my knowledge about British grocery stores is gonna come from this. 
leveled up level four in the Tesco. Did you know England has a minister for leveling up, a politician officially in charge of leveling up? See, I'll fall for a lot of your guys' fake information on Britain. I don't know if I'll fall for that. Average British residential home. I don't know what British houses look like on the inside. All right. Is this normal? Cat spotted. He may or may not be British. So far, cat seems clear. Possibly American. Never know with him. Oh, my game crashed. I don't know what happened. It just kind of froze up for a second. Yo, 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 yo. They're not selling horse burgers at the Tesco, are they? <laughs> no. Tesco horse meat scandal was... <laughs> okay. All right, I'm gonna have to pop a squad on the couch here. We're gonna do some Googling. This is now a research stream. The 2013 horse meat scandal was a food industry scandal in parts of Europe in which foods advertised as containing beef were found to contain undeclared or improperly declared horse meat. <laughs> Y'all went from horse meat scandal to Brexit really quickly. The ferryman said there's an abandoned laundrette in Greenwich. That would be a good place to look. All right, I'll do it. I'll go to Greenwich. I'm not bending the knee. I'm not. I'm not. Sim simply put, I, we fought a revolutionary war over this, okay? I'm not bending the knee on Greenwich. That shit is Greenwich. Have you heard what us Brits call whipped cream? This better not piss me off. <laughs> no way, dude. <laughs> Come on! Greenwich was enough. All right, Greenwich was painful enough to understand that, ooh, what kind of squirty cream do you want? A little watery. Not as good as it used to be. <laughs> Won't be buying as often. It's a little watery. Did they change their diet? What is Pudsy? Why is everyone going nuts about Pudsy? This is too British. Stop being excited over Pudsy. Oh, it's a children's charity bear? Never mind. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Pudsy. That's okay. Get back in my inventory. I think I've made my point. In video games, I find ignorance bliss because it leads to surprise or learning something, no matter how meaningless it may seem. So while I and many of you will have a lot of the significance of what the Fallout London team has created here go completely over our heads, I think that that's something to be embraced. All right, cultural discoveries and memes are fun and all, but what about the game itself? I think it helps if we back things up all the way to the intro. War. War never changes. War never changes, in it? Okay, now that's only one British joke. Fallout London starts off with your character in a test tube and quickly escaping after some mysterious exposition dialogue. Once on your feet, the slight changes they've made it to Falloutify, this new world start hitting you quickly. The flashlight is now a torch and you wear it on your hip. The Pip-Boy is now Attaboy, which I didn't hear enough of growing up. Speaking of dad. Oh God. I have seen this as custom animated, which is pretty cool. God, that is so immersive. Feeling immersed. Bruv. Oh, I love this little guy. <laughs> I love him. Some brief combat on mice, more mysterious exposition, and you're free to explore the remains of a London train station. Just don't go up here. Do it. It's telling me to do it. I'm going to do it. This is why I'm never coming to London. I'm never going to London. I'm um, no. The intro wraps up with a brief train ride. The train crashes off screen. You're injured. And the jump off point for everything in this game is to find someone that can fix you up. You look like shit, mate. You are right. This one just came off the train, boss. Quiet, the both of you. See, I told you charisma would work. Uh, this is why uh, the fuck you think you are. <laughs> Shut it. <laughs> Enter the Vagabonds, a real rough and tumble type group, who some 30 hours later I still don't understand much about, but maybe it'll clear up in part two. Anyway, these three offer you two paths. Follow them, or look for a doctor on your own. Remember Thameshaven? Yeah, that's where you're headed next, but not before the obligatory low-hanging fruit you receive in your first legendary weapon. Take this for the road. Its best days are behind it. Uh, God, why does this have to be the see this feels just it, culturally insensitive for this to be the very first combat encounter <laughs> At this point the game is open for you to do whatever you want and good news London has plenty of activities to keep you entertained Oh shit, we gotta save the dog <gasps> Churchill 
Oh, he's so adorable. Uh, I don't want to die here. I'm sorry, Churchill. <laughs> run, boy, run. One hit. Yo, they might still... Whew, they almost one hit me. There's no way that dog was about to do a finishing move. <laughs> Little pit bull. You'd have to be insane to take on the Tommies. Who are the Tommies? Oh, you're Tommy. <laughs> What's up, Tommy? Oh, his name is not Tommy Watchman. He is a watchman for the Tommies. Me bloody dogs are dead because of you. I don't see what the problem is here. Something about you must have set him off. They knew I was American. They can smell it. Think you could adopt him? Churchill's his name. What, the dog with balls gets to be my follower? Yeah. How do I get to Thames Haven? Didn't they see, notice how I said it right? I'm getting good. I'm getting good at this whole British thing. You guys can't, yeah. We demand machine maintenance. No more weekly amputations. And, and other stuff too. We demand to be treated like real people. Communist detected. Okay, okay, you're going a little far with your demands here. This looks like a businessman of high intellect and deep pockets. So I would like to work for you, Harbin. Is that so? I look like the least respectable fellow who just walked in here to get a job. This really looks like Agent 47. This job concerns Alan Calloway, the ne'er-do-well you heard earlier. He needs to be dealt with. He's bad for morale. They want fair wages. <laughs> And a day off. Oh, Mega Shank! Oh, God, wait, no, he was going down. He wasn't gonna. I don't think he was gonna fully die there. <laughs> we might have gone too far. Quick, uh, uh, we can't let the Union see. Here we go. Thames Haven, it only took us two and a half hours. Thames Haven is under lockdown from what we've been able to gather. You'll have to go in the long way around. I hear some growling. Those are either rats or just more British people. Ooh, flare gun. Flare gun being the only firearm available to us. And beans all over the room. I think that counts as a British moment. Ah, fall back. Okay, never mind, never mind. Abandoned. I, I don't like the flare gun anymore. Let's go cricket bat. Oh, that's a six. Yeah. That's right, I have cricket references. I know some of the rules of cricket. What the hell? What is that? No, 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 no. You guys know I hate phallic enemies in games. Churchill, you can take care of this. <laughs> go, go get him, Churchill. I don't want to fight him. Okay, Churchill is awesome. It's possible you're wondering right now, hey, where are all the guns at? Aside from the obvious remark about LOL, British, no guns, I think this was intentional design by the London team to keep you scrappy early on. Also, someone spent a really long time on these butterfly knife animations, so I'm okay with it. Fun, very real London fact. Did you know that there is a secret population of fish people living underneath the city of London? I didn't until this mod, but thankfully they're represented here and they can really empathize with chapter six, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> we have a tourist. <laughs> I forgot I was wearing the top hat. <laughs> hey, you look like the guy who runs that factory. No, 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 trust me, completely different person. Who are you? How do you get in here? I woke up in an underground laboratory and have absolutely no idea who I am. I've heard of such places. <laughs> I want her shampoo. She does have great hair. Like, look at that hair. Wait, hold on. How the, yeah, wait, how the hell does that happen? I don't want to go to the UK anymore, y'all. Honestly, shout out to the voice acting on the Thames folk. Across the board, they really give it their all here. Oh, I did wonder how long they'd leave me to fend for myself. Now oh, I need to recover. But did we really need this character? Oh, it's a child. What? That is not a child. <laughs> My belly has the rumblies that only a Lino's shroom pizza will solve. I'll pay you to get it for me. <laughs> Yeah, I've got your pizza here. Yes! Just what I wanted! It's a little cold, but here's a tip. He did tip me. <laughs> oh, oh, who saw that? Then he shrunk! The child, the British child, just shrunk to a degree that is unhealthy. The quest sees you heading into the tunnels underneath town to rescue this fella, the ferryman. And shortly after, finally finding our much sought after ranged weapon. Oh, we got a gun, we got a gun. Shit, uh, come here. 
No, no, no. Okay, last bullet. Only one that matters. Oh my. Ah. Plant a bomb, seal a breach. The town is saved, and now you've got access to the first hub town, Thames Haven Market. The Thames folk are grateful. Thank you. A boy named Archie knows more about the lab we started in. The ferryman is familiar with this boy and his last location, so off we go to continue the search. Try to at least get close to building up a critical hit. Easiest way to kill the Mire Lurk is just a critical hit to the face. No, why? What is going on? Yo, yo, stop! Are you? This is why I'm never going to London. That and the no free refill scares the heck out of Americans. You're telling me that in Britain, you don't have free fucking refills? Who are you anyway? I'm an American. Oh yeah, been in any underground. Okay, so this kid has information on the lab that I started in. So that's why you're here. Yeah, I know one. Barely managed to escape though. Archie wants to show us the lab he grew up in, both to answer some questions of his own while helping us piece together our own mystery. Friend acquired. Hope you enjoyed your main story fix because now that the game is finally giving you guns, you'll probably get distracted ogling the new landscape as well as, and this part is extremely important, forgetting what the hell you were supposed to be doing in the first place. Ah. <laughs> That's right. They didn't know they were taking on an American. <laughs> Reload, reload. Oh, he looks so cool in the boat. <laughs> yeah. Come on, get this thing turned around. I can't see. Oh, cannot accurately administer freedom. All right, he's got to let me off now. The guy's hospital. Finally, a hospital for guys like me. Oh, crap. Okay. Are British ghouls any different than regular American ghouls? <laughs> How dare you insult the Marmite? Uh, I'm sorry. That is a lot of red dots. Holy. God, there's so many of them. All right, I think we have to leave. I'm just not powerful enough. I'm not British enough to take this place on. I have a favor to ask. I lost a lot of weight, you see. Mainly. They got Ozempic in uh, Fallout now. And so I want you to help me get new clothes. You need new clothes? Yeah, sure. Oh, you! Got a wager for ya. I kill hooligans. Just wow, mate. Wow. Right then, funny c No! You just killed the whole VOD, dude! You can Okay, I'll severely unimmersive. Why are they so accurate? Washing machine turned on. Wait for clothes to wash. Zero percent. Oh my god, it's a Fallout 76 quest. Oh, it is! It's a Fallout 76 quest! I'm not even heated about that. Like, straight up, if you want to do this, like, you know, if you want this to be your career, you gotta, like, keep a cool head. Fuck you! I've got your clean clothes. I think you'll look good in these. Hold on a second, can we have sex with Ellen? Wait, I, we never took into account that this mod would let us have sex. This is huge. Beef eater carrion. Okay, the, the, okay, well, hold on. Why are these Brits only armed with billiard cue, uh, cues? Uh, see, I called it billiards. Isn't that a British thing? Oh, they, they stab! Spear battle. Are you fucking for real? <laughs> Are you freaking serious with, with me right now? Britain, British, people, hey, out there, someone fucking help me! Help! Help! the journey wasn't too formidable how many great fires of london have there been i need a history lesson so i'm glad that the game will take moments to educate me on london's history wait those people i was with they're the closest thing i have to family please rescue them or find out what happened i think i am severely under leveled for whatever content yeah i'm probably screwed What in the fuck? Ah. 
Oh, hey, remember that main story we were too busy ignoring? In this quest, which admittedly I wasn't a huge fan of, we check out this underground lab. We learn that Archie's old friends have died, and we discover that we were a part of some lab experiment resulting in the creation of White Hulk. Most importantly, after finishing this quest, we can further continue completely ignoring the main quest. The optimal way to play these games, of course. I shouldn't, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. The amount of times in the history of these streams and these challenges and making videos, I have always tried to be a, like, fatherly figure. Hey, you're gonna finish that thought. The f shut the f I'm fucking talking here. But I think this one time I'll try to be a good father. You won't regret it. Not sure if this is a hot take yet, but I'ma say it. I like Archie. I think he's well written, voiced well, unique as a follower, and I'm partial to things named Archie. Come on, Archie. Come here. Come here. Oh. <laughs> so of course I'll suggest jumping into the trials of adoptive fatherhood, though it's certainly not without its issues. I don't think, wait a minute, are you armed? Will he fight? Yeah, not only is it child labor, but it's also child soldier. Did Archie just, f dude, dude, get out of the river, Archie, that is poisonous. I'll save you, kid. <laughs> What's up gamers? Standing me here interrupting once again to talk about a little thing called balance. I just, I, I came up with that term. It's, it's brand new for this channel. I haven't talked about it yet throughout this run because it's not really a point of this video, but I have been playing on survival mode for the extra challenge. If you've played Fallout 4, then you know the gist of it, right? Eat, sleep, drink your food, but more importantly for what I'm talking about now, sleep. You see, when survival mode came out for Fallout 4, there was this built-in advantage that everybody kind of had because we've played Fallout 4, we know the map, we know how to get around roughly. So finding those little places where you can sleep to save isn't all that difficult. Here, it's completely different. I don't know the map, I don't know where to go, I don't know where the beds might be, so you're kind of lost and constantly trying not to lose all of the progress that you've made in the last 20 minutes, half hour, however long it is. And if you've been paying attention throughout this entire video, I have been getting shellacked. So I don't know where the beds are, they're difficult to find. Whenever I come across one, I almost have to like, tap it, you know, kind of like it's home base in a game of freeze tag, just so I can lock in some of that progress and make things a little bit less painful for myself. However, I also skipped out on this part at the beginning of the video. Uh, there are traits in this mod, and I decided to take this one uh, called Sleepwalker. Now what Sleepwalker does is anytime you sleep, there is a percentage chance that you will teleport anywhere on the map. When you combine the elements of survival difficulty, not knowing the map, not knowing where I'm going at any times, and then randomly being dropped in places throughout the map, it creates this compelling survive at all costs element, but it's also extremely painful. Oh my God, yes! Mm, checkpoint. What is happening? Where am I going? Oh God! Okay, I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive. That's all that matters. Oh Lord. Oh, oh my God, we're so far away. Okay, new goal. I really wanna get out of this sticky situation. Oh shit, Archie. Archie's getting attacked. Don't worry, son, I'll handle this. And I didn't even set my child on fire. I look ridiculous. Rate my drip. <laughs> how drippy am I? Do you know how many people in West Ham would go nuts for this outfit? I don't know what West Ham is and I have no clue if they would like it or not. So just kind of, what the hell was that? Oh my Lord, it's a mailbox or a post box. That's all I know. All I know is just to leave the area immediately. <laughs> what the hell is, stop it. I do not know. I don't want your mail. I can't damage him. Please don't kill me, sir, please. All right, thank you, Camelot Squire. Yeah. Oh man, he's close. No. Yeah. What are you screaming about, Radar Boy? Oh. My child, I have a very important order for you. Attack this game's version of a Deathclaw, son. What? 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 Hey! I'm gonna see if I can cut directly northeast. Directly northeast and try to get to Thameshaven. Oh, I'm saying it right. I'm slowly turning British. 118, excuse me? No, 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 run. Oh God, oh 
Oh god, I'm sorry, Archie. I have to leave you behind. I'm going, I'm going. I'm gone. I am so gone. I'll keep the... Ooh, god, that was close. Oh. Get inside. Oh, please, enough with the Molotovs. Stop with the Molotovs. Stop with the Molotovs. Enough. It's not fair. Oh, the soundtrack actually fits how I feel so good right now. I'm ascending. I am fucking ascending right now. Might as well. Oh, don't teleport me again. We got to stop doing this. This trait with survival is a terrible idea. Yeah, not always. Sometimes the teleports are on your side. Like this one that put us right here on the map and <laughs> hey, it's these guys again. The um, uh, the vagrants, whatever their name is. Think Tesco brand Peaky Blinders. They've got a rivalry of sorts with these folks all the way up north. No clue what their beef really is, but I'd have issues with my neighbors if they had the audacity to dress this nicely in the apocalypse. Like, what are you hiding? What's up with that? I've been wandering aimlessly for quite a while to no avail, so some direction is nice and we can finally check back in with the main story again. Listen up. We got hit hard just there, but we managed to kill or capture every attacker, except one. I need you to stop them. I, I don't want to die. Please, don't hurt me. Yeah, you don't want to deal with Archie back there. He's <laughs> look at his shadow. Look away, Archie. Archie disliked that. What did you dislike? Effectiveness in combat? What are you, what are you allergic to success? You seem efficient. I like that. All right, pardon me again, but I have to do a little bit more set dressing here. Now these guys, the Vagabonds, their quest doesn't really kick off at all until you fix this radio. There's a series of kind of mid fetch quests, but once you do that, you eventually get things started. Once you have the radio fixed, a distress signal comes through and you have to journey through the Greenwich foot tunnel in order to meet a Vagabond contact here on the map. Now I started this quest at about the nine hour, 16 minute mark. Any guesses on how long it took me to reach this contact? Okay, time's up, you've had enough time to guess. Uh, if you said over four hours, then you would have been pretty close. Oh! Good little scare, I'm dead. Uh oh, oh no, I... Way. Oh no, 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 no. Oh my, mm, I'm not. Oh, I don't want to be British anymore, man. I don't, I'm done being British. <laughs> kind of fun. We're swimming in sludge. Not only are we swimming around in shit, it's British. I'm thirsty. Mm. Oh yeah, you feel ill. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. Wait, antibiotics discovered. Purge the British sewage out of your system. Ooh, tell me you have beds for rent. You've come to the right place. We did it, Archie. We found a home. Oh my God, it's teleporting me again. Okay, all right, I'll adjust to it. I don't care where I teleport to. You're not stopping me, London. You can drop this American boy anywhere on the map and I'll make it out alive. Oh God, what are you? All right, cross our fingers. Let's roll the dice and hopefully get a new one. Dude, can I land somewhere that's not completely fucked? God, come on! I, Did she just pray you don't land in, <laughs> in Prince Andrew's room? Oh, I am in, okay, we are in the middle of nowhere. This is fun though, just cause we now have been dropped into this mysterious British location. No, 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 no. God, I just got here. I would, you know what? I would rather be in Prince Andrew's hotel room. Is that a gun store? No way, that's a gun store. Come here, it's time to get serious. Oh, there's no way he also had, <laughs> he had the same exact plan. Oh, we got a good spawn. Okay, all right. Is it stupid? Yeah, 
sleepwalking six miles across the river. Yeah, that's it's stupid thematically. I don't really care, though. I'm not a big Ludo narrative dissonance guy. Uh, hold on one second. Let me uh, let me lock in real quick. Christ. OK, where are we now? This feels like alternate start mod every single time I die. The tennis museum. No way. Y'all actually got a tennis museum out there. Who's the kid that beat Novak Djokovic in the final? <laughs> Motherfucker doesn't like tennis. You don't like tennis. Why? Is it not masculine enough for you? Is this what they mean when they say British pound? Again, I think you all get the point, and I don't need to throw my headphones anymore to make it. London is rough, but it is especially rough when you go off the beaten path, and triple that effect when you split the middle of the stubborn slash competitive Venn diagram like my dumbass. And I know what you're all suggesting right now, but believe me, I tried it, and I can confirm that cosplaying a British monarch doesn't help much either. How's it look? The hair is a little all over the place. <laughs> Got the drop on him from this tree line here. I quit. I quit being British. <laughs> it's, it's too hard to be British. I am not going back there. I'm going over here to the park. Okay, at least at the park, I don't think I'll get my shit rocked immediately. All right, do not go to the park. I know it might look like I'm having a bad time right now, but I promise that's not the case. I'm honestly loving the world that they've made with this project. They've done what's normally impossible with these large scale mod projects and fully convinced me that I'm playing a new, albeit oftentimes exceptionally ugly Fallout game. However, I just need to tweak a couple of things. And that's okay, because changing the game to your liking is part of the Bethesda slash creation engine experience. To further emphasize my point, here are some incredibly pedantic things that the community made and then uploaded within like the first week of Fallout London's launch. Hey, see this dog? Well, his footsteps are kind of loud, so someone made a mod that silences them. Don't you think it's really cool how they've translated the typically wrist-worn Pip-Boy into a utility belt item? It's different, but distinctly Fallout. Yeah, this mod removes it. Just wipes out a completely new custom design. Those cool knife animations I mentioned earlier? To damn with your hard work, this guy is annoyed. Okay, this one actually upsets me. Like, what? Why, why would you get rid of the custom radio stations? I feel like that's such a cool part of this mod. I think, why get rid of it? You, you turn the radio off. The modding community even found itself digging trenches on the front lines of the culture war with such mods as immersive water bottles and it's a soccer ball. Real high IQ stuff there. All right, sorry for the completely irrelevant side tangent because I didn't need any changes like that, I just needed to make some small changes in difficulty to go from liking Fallout London to kind of loving it. When the game first launched, there was a bug that debuffed player health. A great explanation for all of the- <sighs> That's a relief, because it means that I am in fact still a good gamer. I kept the game on survival because I liked the combat balancing, I removed the sleepwalker trait so no more accidentally thinking about Prince Andrew's hotel room, and I allowed myself the ability to fast travel so I could see more of what London has to offer, and offer it shall. However, I haven't done that yet chronologically in the series of highlights I've shown you. Another two hours of getting my shit pushed in alongside some of that excellent parenting I'm known for. Archie! Oh my god. And we've finally arrived at our contact. Phew, okay. Main story and more importantly, uninterrupted power fantasy are back on the menu and oh, what's this? Skill check dialogue. Okay, now we're talking. Wait, this is gonna get her caught. Why would I, uh, no, if I say this, your name is Yvette. Blind Nelson sent me to come get you. Are you okay? You're acting weird. I've never heard of such a person. You must be mistaken. Now please stop talking to me before someone overhears us and gets the wrong idea. I'm 100% positive I'm not mistaken. Your name is Yvette. You came here to help your friend who's going to get executed. Blind Nelson. <laughs> okay, that's funny. I'm picking it. I'm picking it because it's funny. Hey, we got intruders over here. Sound the alarm. You unbelievable brainless git. Cause a distraction while I fix this massive clusterfuck you've put us in. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Nice work, son. Just some casual espionage with my child. <laughs> 
Oh, Archie, no, don't flamethrower the... Okay. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, go, Archie! Fuck yeah, that's my kid! That's my son! <laughs> oh, Lord. Are you looking for a small child with a flamethrower? This is the last time I ever let you break the law. La what are you laughing at? I'm almost dead. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's my boy. He's just setting the locals on fire. Heroically fucking up the Vagabond's espionage mission leads you to your best reward so far by way of an apprenticeship with the leading star of my favorite movie involving public displays of affection. I'm offering you the chance to join the ranks of the Vagabonds. Join our family proper, what do you say? I will say yes. However, if an opportunity arises to betray them, I kind of want to do that. I still have a task for you before you join proper. The job is straightforward. Put down a dog and bring me its collar. <laughs> he, want, he wants me to actually just euthanize a dog. <laughs> I want the blood of a syndicate enforcer captain, and I want its lapel pin in my hand as proof of the deed. Let me get that lapel pin. Oh, he has it. You're one of us now. Welcome to the Vagabonds. It's been 19 hours, but we have finally joined a faction. <laughs> We're being really efficient with this playthrough. The dogs hit us hard last time, coming right to the center of our turf. Well, I didn't want no rash response. I definitely wouldn't kill, or wouldn't call killing 25 of their members a rash response. No, it was cool and collected. She's got a gun. Can't show that. That definitely cannot show that one. What a shot. There we go. Save me action tunes. It's time to give the syndicate what they deserve. And if that means escalating the fight, then I say bring it the fuck on. What's my first mission? That's what I've got the lads here for. I've got an easy aspiration, boss. I say we take down the dredge. The mud chute prison boat? What do you mean, take it down? We crack it open and steal the yolk. Lab right here can sneak in, let everyone out, then set a few well-placed bombs to sink the whole damn place. I ever tell you you're a fucking lunatic, Johnny? I think it's a fantastic idea. I rescued the vagabonds and sank the dredge. I, I didn't. Give myself a checkpoint. Traders welcome ahead. Ooh. Seems like bait. I would recognize if it was bait. They can't do this. It would be illegal. It's called false advertising. <laughs> All right, now that the receptionist is dead, anybody in here want to do some business? <gasps> the traitor. What did I say? What did I say? What did I tell each and every one of you jackasses who didn't think that there would be a trading marketplace in here? You said it would be a trap. Sure. The receptionist? She shot at us right away. I will trade with you now. Looking for good deals? Absolutely. Oh my God. Oh my God. We just found customization for Archie. Holy shit. Oh my God. Yes. Yes. Peak Archie. He looks like, uh, what, what's that one villain in uh, Spy Kids? <laughs> he looks like George Lopez in Spy Kids. I'm gonna get a little bit annoyed if I go back to Gaunt and he does another one of his, we gotta hit back the syndicate hard. We gotta hit him again. We gotta, hit, we can finally strike him. He's like, dude, you've been saying, you've said that like 18 times. Maybe if this guy Gaunt actually got off his ass and did something, we wouldn't have to constantly strike back against the syndicate dogs. HMS Dredge. Okay, this is supposed to be a stealth mission, right? That was it. Stealth mission. We're gonna make the rest of this DLC a cakewalk. We have uh, unfortunately found the answer key. That's what I'm calling this weapon. Am I supposed to talk to you? Oh, Larry. I kind of want to see what happens. So don't be mad at me. Hear me out for a second. Am I being a? Am I setting a bad example for Archie? 
Or do you think that giving him a cool suit and a space helmet, do you think he's kind of willing to look past it? You got a minute. Oh no, does he not like the murder? I've been thinking about home. Where's home for you? Oh, I, I don't know. Also, it's hard to take you seriously when your head is squeezed into that thimble. We're in the same boat then. I'm not even sure what a home is at this point. What would you say my home is? Here with me. We're not friends, Archie. Will you help me figure out what home is? At least to me. No problem, Archie. We'll figure out your familial origins after we murder everyone on this boat. Hey. Hey, hey, what's going on, man? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> These guys suck. <laughs> why Why were they hyping them up at home so much? The syndicate and their dogs. They're running the north side of town. They, they're, they're not that tough. They are, uh... Honestly, they're kind of squishy. All right, time to free everybody. Speak to the vagabonds. Archie, I, I fear we've made a grave mistake. We've made a grave error. He's alive. He's alive. I'm talking with him. No. Oh, oh. Oh God, I can't fix this. Oh. <laughs> He's back from the dead. All right, we fixed him. Optional, plant the bombs on the lower deck. Optional, release the rest of the prisoners. Well, I guess if this guy's not that important anymore, quest complete, right? <laughs> it's given me the option to blow up the boat, so I'm blowing it up. I'm tired of doing charity for all these people, all right? I'm still American at heart. Maybe you'll be lucky enough to land a hit. Hey, 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 buddy, buddy, don't. Oh my God, he set her on fire. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna leave the rest of the prisoners. This is an important lesson for Archie to learn though, right? As Archie gets older, he's going to have to learn about sacrifice. I have sacrificed my time coming here, so the prisoners will have to sacrifice themselves at my behest. <laughs> then that second explosion was rude. That was unnecessary, did not need to happen. I feel like it's because I'm American. Lock in. Oh shit. Stop it. Get your blood, you prick. Oh, get. This thing rocks. I didn't. Not a single person survived. <laughs> not a single person made it out. Get in, that's bloody brilliant. You fucking plonkers. The syndicate are going to spin this as vagabond terrorism. That's what it was. But it was sick. We got our own people out. We didn't. We, we really did not. We didn't get it. We committed terrorism. We didn't get anybody out of the boat. The story continues as you'd expect. Oi, no more terrorisms. They make us look weak. Let's blow up a train. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This is, I forgot. It's a stealth. Oh, oh. Stop it. You guys are ruining my stealth mission. Well done, mate. We could see the smoke from here and knew you'd done what you needed to do. Gaunt realizes that blowing shit up is pretty fucking based, so your next mission isn't too surprising. Multiple consecutive acts of terror may be exhausting, but that child you've been stringing along for the journey should be inspired by now. You know what that means. Ooh, you know what? Let's do Archie's companion quest. We did unlock his quest and I'm more interested in his quest than in any of the actual main story content that's going on. No hate, that's just that's just what I'm interested in. This is my story. And there was a place I called home. It has to be this grounded Sora. I got bad news about your home, kid. Okay, okay, yeah, no, no, they're pissed, they're pissed. Archie! Ah! <laughs> God damn it. Archie, your family is evil. I just want to grab something. A memento of this place. Hold on, I want to see what he's grabbing. Got it. Let's go. Two Thames, hey man. It was quiet here. Peaceful. I almost felt safe. I think the next place I have to go is that bloody angel lab. The only people I ever called friends. They're probably back there. Experiments like me. And you. I know you promised to take me to all these places, but you never promised you'd have to take me in. You're right. Good luck. 
Why would I come this far to not go in with him? I'm going in with Yarchi. We're going in together as a team. We got this. Whatever trauma you're dealing with, we'll face it together. You're a true gem. His bald head is clipping through his helmet, though. It's bothering me. I really want to, like, sand it down. Hey! I just found my entry! From Margaret and Patrick Broderick. Retrieved while leaving Eastminster. Eastminster? I'm from Eastminster. There's even a photo of their home in Eastminster. Let's go. We have to go there. This is going to be traumatic. His his parents are probably ghouls. I would guess they're pro. I, I hope they're not. I mean, actually, I'm kind of hoping they're alive. Oh, and who might you be, little one? Uh, are you? Are you my grandfather? I'm sorry. I'm no one's grandfather. Just me, living alone in this big house. Yeah, I have to cut him off there. Big house? Dude, it's a fucking small trailer. You could roll this thing up to the dingiest, dirtiest trailer park ever, and they'd make fun of you for rolling up in this thing. I did buy this house several years ago from a young couple. I'm remembering more about that young couple. I'm almost positive they asked me for the nearest Tommy camp after I bought this place. I'll give you the coordinates. Okay, find out where the Tommies went. I'm definitely quick saving here because this is like navigating a minefield. Hey, is this your mom? Huh? Is this your mom? Rule Britannia, Britannia rules the waves. Britons never, never, never shall be slaves. I did my duty. I think you might know my parents. You're their kid. I took you for dead long ago. The hooligan raids. They fell to one of the first ones. Dude, what a horrible thing to say. Told you. <laughs> I told you your parents were dead. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Wait a while for Archie to open up. All right, so I think we're done with Archie's quest for now. You know what's going to happen with Archie? He's going to say, Home is in a plane or an underground shelter. Home is where you feel the safest. And I feel the safest with you, friend. I'm wherever I feel safe. That's what I said, right? Well, that's you. I feel safe with you. Called it. Here, have this. Don't let it go to your head, though. Archie's memento added. I liked Archie's quest. It was, it was simple. It made sense for him. Oh my God, and his memento gives endurance one agility. Look at the emotionally mature, well-adjusted young man that Archie is growing into. Throughout this adventure, you've demonstrated patience and resilience during harsh times, but this world will continue to present difficult scenarios where it's important to be a good leader, lest the youth remain impressionable. Ooh, hopscotch, get out of my way. Get off the hopscotch now, it's my turn. Thank you. One, two, three. Your turn, Archie. That's not how you... That's not... No, that's not how you play hopscotch. Enough of the childish adventures. I feel like Archie's not learning enough. Friendship, family, political violence, the fact that flamethrowers are cool as fuck. No, no, no. Archie can learn so much more from civilized activities like political canvassing. And this guy, totally not Obi-Wan. Hello there wants to become the fairly elected leader of this town, Eastminster. By running on a platform of promising his citizens a stable frame rate, he's sure to win in a landslide. I know he'd have my vote. The first step to electoral politics, acquiring ballots. Oh yes, always an excuse to climb the ladders in this are amazing to me. It just makes me so happy climbing a ladder. What a thrill. I don't think I can get up there. I, I, I just kind of want to see though. Is there like a secret up here? Oh my lord. <gasps> I'm getting up here. Oh yeah. Gotta be, come on. Tell me there's like one thing up here. It'd be so cool. I'd be so happy if there was like a unique, uh, even if it was just one of those little cute Thulu dolls. Oh no way. <laughs> yes. Bravo. Bravo. I gotta give it to him. I cannot believe there was a little secret up here. I'm so happy. Nice 
Wait a minute, was, was that supposed to be scripted to have happened earlier in the encounter? I don't know if I'm supposed to be up here. All right, I'm a little disappointed. I'm a little disappointed that that wasn't an actual secret that I found. Instead, it was just more like he, he had to be up there technically for the encounter. Ooh, fortifying. We are, oh, we have liftoff. Ladies and gentlemen, we have liftoff. Proper stiff one there. After, after finding a legendary like that, you're goddamn right I'm stiff right now. President Obi-Wan, I'm, I'm here to deliver you great news about your ongoing campaign. With the ballots in hand, Archie can learn what it takes to charm the voting populace into making the right decision, which is made a lot easier by them quite literally having no alternative candidate to the all-powerful Toby. I don't expect you to ask every person in Eastminster on my behalf. If you can convince enough of them, I'll accept my role as official leader. You! Are you a terrorist or will you support President Obi-Wan? The tire seller? Why not? Ma'am, what do you do? Sir, will, no, stop walking away. Will you endorse, will, will you endorse, will, will you endorse Toby Wan Kenobi as official leader of Eastminster? Oh, I adore Toby. Looking for anything in particular? Your vote. Hello there, excuse me. I'm very sorry to bother you, but I have nobody else I can ask. All right, fuck off. Oh my God. <laughs> What? Uh, okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, no, no. All right, congratulations, you won the election. I am officially the leader of Eastminster. Try not to be too excited. Try, try not to be so ecstatic about it. Final step of electoral politics, dealing with insolent cabinet members and accomplishing nothing. My story. Dad was a gentry paper pusher. I'm starting to really not like this place. Everybody walks away from me when I go up to talk to them. Is it because I'm bald? And what do you want? I want you to talk to me and not walk away. Well, there ain't much to tell. Da Every time. Man, politics suck. I hate this system. I wish we were close with people who also hated it and solved most of their problems with blowing shit up and shooting stuff, having fun at the same time. My mother wanted me to be a farmer. I get my hands dirty in other ways. They're all standing around at a game of billiards. No one is hitting the ball at all. Like they're not actually, there's, there's a stick on the table. This isn't how you play billiards, unless you're doing some kind of trick shot. You know what? Fuck you. Unbilliards your table. Lockheed, Sinclair, Peter, Black. Right now I need a butcher. You feel up to it. I want them all dead. More than dead. I want a fury on them. But hold on. I really want to hit this cue ball right now. I want you, I want you to rip this man's balls off. But first, let me sink this real quick. Let me line it up real quick. Why is it? Dude, talk to, to me. To the billiards are secondary to murder. I get my hands dirty in other ways. My mother wanted me to be a father. I, I like this guy. This is my favorite guy here. Bullet Tooth Anthony. I like this guy. I kind of wish I joined the syndicate. I'm not going to lie. Chain gangs, child slaves, and worse. Never mind. I should not have joined. Of all me. Should not have joined the syndicate. <laughs> I take that back. That has aged poorly. Once you've done with her, choke the body in the furnace. She don't deserve a trace of her left. God damn. I thought I told you I want the bodies out on display. But she's a monster, boss. I don't want to see her martyred. I will do whatever you want, Anthony. I, say her bloody I bow to Anthony. I don't bow to Gaunt anymore. Gaunt is going to turn into a bad guy. I don't like him. I don't like Gaunt. He's also way too focused on pool right now. I'm not keeping you for your fucking ethical consideration, Anthony. I'm keeping you for the way you break the billiards. I'm keeping you. I'm keeping you for the way you line them up. You got your orders. Get your business. Now watch this drive. I don't never anything. I'm the butcher. Nice to meet you. Wait, hold up. Please don't hurt me. What a sniveling little. Ah! Oh, look, he... don't, don't, don't say it, man. Come on. Stop. What it's a not. Bleeding pleasure it is to see you. Too. <laughs> what is this camera angle? Yo, Winston, you're like 90% of the screen. Are you. Where are you going? Turn. We're upstairs. Shut the door on the way out, will you? 
Don't leave me with this fucker. You don't know the sick shit he'll do. Oh, careful now. You'll hurt my feelings. <laughs> Winston's changing background that whole dialogue made him creepier. All right, one quest down. That was easy. I guess we'll have to start by removing your eyelids. I think they're having fun. It's a nice little play date. Our little rat has followed the bait. Now it's time to play. Oh my god, he walked <laughs> he walked into the crowded room. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. Sorry, Archie, I'm sorry. Oh my lord, they're everywhere! Uh, reload! Uh, <laughs> I hate rebar! I hate construction equipment! Alright, we're gonna need a plan here. This is actually quite tough. First things first, turret. Oh. Okay, <laughs> okay, this is gonna be really hard. I got an idea. Archie, make yourself useful. Open up that back door. Let's go. He's always oh, he's lighting them up. Let's go, kid. Oh, I shot him in the face. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, buddy. Archie, did you burn Sinclair alive? Oh, I think I think Archie burned our target. <laughs> that was actually kind of fun. Where do you think you're going? Do you know who I am? You don't matter, I don't matter. The only thing that does matter is this list. And your name certainly isn't on it, is it? I think there's a quest you need to have done before they let you in. Have I not been doing the main quest? Oh yeah, the go. He went west, I think. Said he was going to St. Paul's Sanctuary. What is the main quest? <laughs> Wait. What is, what the fuck is the main quest? The truth is, Archie, you aren't terribly important to me. Oh, no way, that's what you guys call condoms? <laughs> I didn't know they were called Jimmy hats. That's adorable. That is, that is so cute.